Dr. Ferguson again coming to you from the Passion Camp. Last time we talked, we started talking a little about stress. Stress is a major factor. It affects everyone, but how it affects you is what makes a difference. Some people are affected majorly by stress. Some people are affected minorly by stress. I don't know if minorly is a word, but we'll make it up for today and we'll play like it is just in case it's not. So stress is an issue of life. How you handle it is what makes a difference. And one way that you may do better handling your stress is think about the things that stress you. Sit down while you're eating dinner, or you're watching television, just not, not in the midst of that stress, and write down all the things that are stressful to you. Now that you've written your list of all the things that are stressful to you, next thing I want you to do is write down next to them what's a possible solution. So say you get uptight every time your husband leaves the shoes at the front door. Okay, so what's our possible solution? We could, we could either get him to move his shoes, we can move them ourselves, or we can let them stay there and not worry about it. So which one of those options would be least stressful to you? If, it's, if it doesn't bother you just to leave the shoes there, then leave them there. But obviously it's already bothering you because you've put it down as a point of stress. So just leaving them there is not an option. Getting your husband to move them on your timetable may not work well because he may not meet your timetable. So what's our last option? You move them and then don't worry about them. Simple solution, take away the stress. I don't like it when the kids leave the top off the toothpaste, okay? What are my choices? I can put the top on, I can convince the kids to do it, or I can not worry about it. So a lot of times we get stressed about things that are simple, really no big deal, but we make a big deal out of them because they're not the way we like it. They're not, it's not put in the position that we want it to be in. It's not sitting on the table where we like to put it. It's not in the refrigerator where we like to find it. It's not in the order that we want to see it in. And this is why it's so important that when you're not involved in that stressful situation that you write down some possible solutions. Because many times the solutions are simple where we make them out to be very complicated. Say you get stressed every time you bump into your boss at 8 o'clock in the morning on when you just get to work. So what could you do about that? Well, you could get to work earlier or you could get to work later. Both of which might afford you the ability not to bump into your boss. So again, you see that that's probably a pretty simple solution uh, to what might be a devastating problem for you at present. We all, we have solutions. Now other things that can help when you're talking about stress is if we get the proper exercise, we get the proper sleep, proper nutrition. All of those things absolutely play a, play a part in whether you're stressed or not stressed. Uh, when, you, when you eat right, sleep right, exercise right, your body gets a new balance, it gets a new steady state where it can function better. Other things that could be involved in stress could be your hormones. They could be involved in stress as well. So how do you relieve stress? You can take deep breaths, you can exercise, you can, you can take a nap. You can, you know, there's so many different ways to, to go after your stress. And what, what I would encourage you to do is to think about some things that, are, that relieve your stress. And then try to incorporate those into your day, into your activities, into, into your situation so that when you are stressed, you can re rely back on one of those things that you have already identified that are helpful to you. Now, my, my, catch what I said, that you have already identified. Don't wait until you're in the midst of that stressful situation to try to identify, how do I relieve my stress? Think about it when you're not in the midst of it. And I assure you that you'll be on the track to dealing with your stress better. And if you deal with your stress better, what will happen? Less chance of high blood pressure, less chance of stomach ulcers, less chance of getting into arguments with your family, your friends, your co-workers. You'll just be better all around if you have a organized, structured way of dealing with your stress. On that note, be blessed. Dr. Ferguson coming to you from the Passion Camp. Bye-bye.